Hey guys, what's going on? It's Uncle Tone. How you guys doing? Today I'm going to have my full review for you guys on the OtterBox Defender case for the iPhone 5. I do not have the official retail packaging for this one. Um, I did get this one directly from OtterBox. They sent me the launch PR kit for the iPhone 5 in which contained this as well as the commuter case. I will have a review coming up very soon on the commuter as well. Um, so I don't have the official retail packaging, but this case is exactly the same as you're going to get in the official retail packaging. So there you go. You can pick this one up over on OtterBox website. Uh, suggested retail price is $49.95, um, but you can pick it up for a few bucks less over on Amazon. So if you you know are concerned about saving a few bucks, uh, head over to Amazon. You can pick it up there as well as most other retailers who carry OtterBox cases. Um, they're available, widely available, pretty much everywhere. So you shouldn't have too much trouble finding yourself a Defender for the iPhone 5. Uh, the color here I have is Glacier. However, it is available in a number of different colors, including black and orange and blue. And there's even a camo version, camouflage on the back, which is kind of cool. So there you go. It's a bunch of different colors. So make sure you check out the link in the bottom bar to OtterBox's website for all the colors and so on and so forth. Without further ado, let's get into the actual review. Uh, just like the Defender for the iPhone 3G, 3GS, 4, 4S, uh, the OtterBox Defender for the iPhone 5 does come with a belt clip as well. I am not the hugest fan of belt clips, I'll be perfectly honest with you, but one I always did like is the OtterBox de uh, Defender belt clip um, for three different reasons really. One, it is very, very secure. If you pop your phone in there, you can hear the click and it is really solid. Once you have it snapped in there, it's not going anywhere. You don't have to worry about this falling out of the clip because it's very secure. It's also really easy to pop out. All you have to simply do is lift up on the clip here and it pops right out. But So it's very secure, but it's also very easy to remove. Uh, number two, I really like the 360 degree clip on this that rotates 360 degrees. A lot of clips only rotate 180 degrees like so. So you can use it like this or you can rotate it like this and use it like that. But again, if you're using it like that, it's upside down, which I don't like. So I like the 360 degree rotation. I like to be able to set it wherever I may want to use it and have the option of the full 360 degrees. So that's pretty cool as well. The third and final thing I really like about the Defender Clip is it is very snug and close in to your body. If you see what I mean, if you put it through your belt loop here, it's really nice and snug. Um, a lot of belt clips tend to stick out a little bit where there'll be a gap between the clip itself and, and the holster that holds it. Um, this one's right flush up against it. So it's nice and snug when it's on your belt and stuff. It doesn't feel like it's sticking out and hanging down. I don't like that. So there you go. Great clip. I'm not a huge fan of belt clips, but the OtterBox Defender clip is right up there among the best. Very nice. So let's move on to the actual iPhone 5 Defender case itself. First thing I noticed when I use this is this silicone material on the outside has been replaced uh, with a firmer silicone material. Um, it's not as soft and, and lint attracting as it was before. It's more of a firmer material. It's still going to provide you with very good impact protection. It's almost a little bit TPU-ish actually. It feels like they've added some TPU to the silicone um, because it's definitely firmer and it doesn't attract nearly as much lint as the old silicone used to. But it's still going to provide you with a very good amount of impact protection which is really nice. So to install the case on your phone you're going to go ahead and remove the silicone TPUE type material. You like how I did that there? Silicone TPUE? Yeah, yeah, I know, I'm good. And then here you have the hard plastic liner inside. This is where the case that you're going to put your actual phone into. Um, to open it is much more difficult than previous versions of the Defender. Um, I just about pulled my hair out the first time I was trying to install this on my phone. I was afraid I was going to break it. Um, it is much more difficult to open than previous versions. It does get easier after you've installed it a few times. It definitely gets easier to put on and take off of your device. I'll show you the clips and stuff when we put it back together, but um, it's definitely more difficult to open 
and close this one, which is fine. I mean, this is probably not the kind of case you're going to be throwing on and taking off of your phone on a regular basis. Um, the people who are going to be using the Defender are probably going to be the kind of people who throw their phone in it and leave it. Um, they're probably not the kind of people. Um, the Defender is pretty much the ultimate in protection for your iPhone, really. You throw your Defender, your phone in the Defender here, and you know it's protected against, you know, the harshest of environments, really, with construction workers and firefighters and stuff like that. People who are in, you know, those type of environments where they need a lot of protection for their phone. Those are the kind of people that the Defender is really aimed to. Or the kind of people who want to make sure that their device is protected and not have to worry about it. So, there you go. To install your phone in here, you're simply going to take your phone, lay it down here in the bottom piece of the Defender, and then simply snap the two side pieces on, like so, for the top. And then there are also clips here at the top, there, there, and there, as well as two clips down here on the bottom, here, and here. So once it's all snapped together, you are good to go. You're also reading my email. There you go. So then you're going to go ahead and take the TPUE silicone -y type material. See how I did that again? I know. And pop that on around here, just like so. Slip that into place, just like so. It also pops into place much more easy uh, than I found the Defender for the 4 and 4S did. Pop your button cover in, pop your port covers in the bottom, and you are good to go. It is all installed on your iPhone 5. You can now feel free to throw it and not worry about what has going to happen to your phone. I thought about doing a drop test off the roof of my house or something with this, but to be perfectly honest with you, I'm not that brave and I don't want to have to buy a new phone. So I'm not going to do that. But we are going to go ahead and take a look at the cutouts and ports and stuff on the phone. So here we go on the front. Um, I'm sure you guys already know the Defender has a built-in screen shield here on the front. And I am using a uh, SGP uh, Ultra Oleophobic under here. And I don't experience any rainbowy effecting or anything like that. No oil marking, nothing like that. Works really, really well. So you have one large cutout here on the front for your camera, for uh, proximity sensor, and your earpiece and this is not covered uh, by anything which I don't really like I mean I liked uh, the cutout on the Defender 4 and 4S version better um, that was still covered so you were still protected it did degrade the camera quality a little bit on the front which is maybe why they didn't cover this one this year but there you go it's still gonna work fine I mean it's fairly deep and fairly recessed in there so the chances are you're not gonna hit it on anything or break it but, um, you know, it is all open and one piece, so that's something to be aware of. Uh, moving up here to the top, your sleep-wake button is covered. Tremendously responsive. It works really, really well. I have absolutely no issues with using it. This is Defender has always been great. Despite the bulk of the case, um, the buttons work fantastically. Um, OtterBox has really nailed the buttons. Same thing around here on the side with the volume rocker up and down. You can still hear it click. Um, they work really, really well. Accessing your vibrate switch is easy enough by simply popping that out and then sticking your fingernail in there. And I don't have too much trouble reaching it. And I got pretty gosh darn big fingers. And I still don't have a whole lot of trouble reaching the vibrate switch. So it's fairly easy to get to. Um, you know, it is fairly deep as well. But it is fairly easy to get to, so it's not too difficult to access it. There you go. Moving around here to the back, your Apple logo cutout is covered, uh, but the camera, secondary microphone, and flash is also wide open. And uh, this cutout is, I think, a little bit bigger than it really needs to be. I'm not a big fan of these huge, massive cutouts here on the back. Um, I understand why they did it, to prevent camera flash and wash out and, uh, you know, provide enough room around here that doesn't affect the quality of your pictures or anything, as well as not cover up the secondary microphone. So I understand the why they did it, but it might have been nice if they brought it up a little bit to the edge of the metal there on the back of the phone, so you didn't at least didn't have that little line there. That might have been kind of cool, but there you go. Moving down here to the bottom, you have uh, individual cutouts for your speaker and your microphone, and built-in port covers for your lightning port which is easy enough to pop out, just like so, as well as your headphone jack. Now the headphone jack is a little on the small side. If you're using a mobile device headphones, you should have no problem, but given you know, the bulk of this case and the fact that this is recessed quite a bit, 
you're gonna have issues if um, you're using DJ headphones or something like that so that's something to be aware of there you go so that's pretty much gonna do it for my review on the OtterBox Defender for the iPhone 5 guys um, again an awesome case from the very cool people over at OtterBox thanks very much for them for sending it over I really do appreciate it as well as the commuter case look for that review coming up very soon if you're looking for the ultimate in protection for your iPhone 5 and you want to make sure that nothing's gonna to happen to it uh, Defender is a great way to go. Now that's gonna do it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash the like button down there. If you found this video helpful, maybe go ahead and favorite it. It definitely helps me out a lot. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Cool beans, rock on.